Hey, so we make portable electric skateboards. The reaction from the skate community, kind of hit or miss. Some people are very, very against them, uh, but others, people kind of understand it. I used to ride when I was a kid, stopped very long time, then I just started picking it up again. I have a total of like three regular decks. Oh, wow. These are just normal skateboards. I have one longboard and then I have one cruiser. Um, I think an e-skateboard is definitely good for commuting, depending on how far you're going. We call it the last mile vehicle, so like say you live in Williamsburg and you take the train into town and then you work somewhere where the train doesn't go and people are looking into other ways to get around like the scooters uh, with Bird and Lime for example. When it comes to cars and stuff I'm actually kind of terrified to own or drive a car because I'm just like I like to be centered in what I'm doing and cars have like one bigger side compared to you being in the center and being on a board is something I'm already so comfortable with so to enhance that kind of Transportation to make it easier for me to get from point A to point B at a faster speed, I think is actually really cool. But at the same time, it was almost like, you know, it's kind of like afraid. Like I was afraid of it a little bit because I'm just like, I don't know if I get hurt in it. Maybe I'm not used to it as much more because now you have like a machine that's taking away like your 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 instincts, you know, to it, it, it's, it's almost as if it's like, you're not doing anything anymore, but at the same time you really are. With Uber and Lyft and kind of all these other ways to get around, say Manhattan and other large cities, if more people are doing, using sort of scooters or boosted boards, it's getting cars off of the road, which is good for everyone. Um, but me, I'm a nut job. I like to go fast, so I'll take it to the top speed anytime.